So people will take lithium for a bipolar disorder or sometimes for major depressive disorder, uh, either to help stabilize the mood or to help stabilize or improve the treatment outcome uh, from other medications. But lithium can be a little tricky to use, so we do a number of laboratory studies, uh, both at the outset of lithium treatment and while somebody is being monitored while on lithium. Uh, at the, the tests at baseline would include an EKG just to see if lithium causes any change in EKG down the road, uh, a pregnancy test because there is a potential for a rare defect to occur if someone is pregnant and taking lithium, uh, you, and you also check the creatinine which is the standard blood test measurement of kidney functioning and uh, thyroid function or, or TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone as a baseline to see if your thyroid is functioning well. Uh, once you've established uh, these tests and you start on lithium, you're generally going to need to check your lithium level uh, every time you change the dose, about five days after the dose change to give it a full uh, attempt to equilibrate. And your standard lithium level should be done about 12 hours after the last dose, just to be consistent with, uh, with what uh, studies say is a good safe and effective lithium level. Uh, once you've established yourself on a stable dose of lithium, uh, that is you have at least two blood levels in a row at the same dose that are about the same, uh, then you can back off to testing your lithium level, your creatinine function, uh, your, your, the, the kidney function with creatinine, and the thyroid function about once every six months. And somebody who's really stable we might go down to once a year you might increase the frequency of testing if there's some change in status. Uh, certain medications can alter lithium levels and should lead to a, an increased frequency of testing. Uh, uh, age can affect uh, kidney functioning as well. And uh, a, a change in your clinical status, uh, such as uh, having some depressive symptoms, might indicate a change in your thyroid functioning and thus would uh, lead one to want to check that more frequently. But uh, those are the basic requirements for maintaining somebody safely and effectively on lithium over the long term.